What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Notley, Strength Corps Line 5 Star General. I'm getting ready to head over to the gym to make some gains, Nick. Gotta make these gains, Nick. <laughs> my sister came into town. Say what's up to the people. Hey. What are you doing? Studying. For what? Um, anatomy and physiology. Yeah, she's smart or whatever. She wanted to smart niggas. <laughs> Nah, but she's studying physical therapy because, you know, your boy's knees is about 90 years old. So hopefully when she get that degree, she can hook me up with some physical therapy so I can get right. But uh, anyways, y'all, or, or you know what? We can band together and I can create a gym slash physical therapy center. And then we can, uh, we can, you know, we can make that work. Hit me up when you graduate. We got business plans. But anyways, I'm about to head over to this gym. Well, I gotta make one quick stop, so let's go over there first. All right, y'all, so I'm on the way to the gym. But no, I'm not, I'm on the way to the bank, actually. I gotta get some money, because I still don't have my card, because I lost and found my wallet. If you follow me on Snapchat, I lost my wallet last week. Somebody turned it in like five days later after I went and canceled everything, but my card was kind of crushed anyway, so it's all good, but anyway. I'm gonna head to the bank and get some money out so I'm not broke over the weekend. I got groceries and stuff to buy, so um, let's do that real quick. Oh, and I'm sipping on a little bit of coffee and protein, man. Just mix the two together, a couple scoops of coffee, a couple scoops of protein. I'm trying to keep it very low carb, low fat all day because my family wants to go out to eat later and I wanna be able to eat and enjoy myself and not have to worry about counting macros later. So I'ma just keep it trill today. Yeah, I'm going in the bank. I should probably take my hood off just to be on the safe side. I don't want them to think anything crazy. All right, so I finally made it to the gym. With my dog Ty right here. Oh, really? About to get this workout in, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all waiting, man. Let's get into it, bro. All right, guys, so starting off the workout as I always do with pull-ups, man. I love warming up with pull-ups. I think it's one of the best body weight movements you can do um, along with dips and along with uh, even body weight squats. So that's why I always start off my routine with pull-ups, okay? Then I jumped it off and started off with some T-bar rows. Wanted to get a good heavy row in. Um, and T-bar rows are my favorite exercise. I've said that many times. I love it more than squatting. I love it more than benching. I love it more than lunging, anything else. I really enjoy doing T-bar rows. And with this, you really wanna focus on making sure that you keep a, a, your back at least 45 degrees from the ground a lot of people are too upright um, and that can really uh, it's gonna affect the exercise by pretty much turning it almost into like a trap builder because you're gonna almost turn the exercise into a shrug so we did four sets of that um, on the last set we went really heavy to try and get as much as we could then we went ahead and started doing some lat pull downs here went to a vertical movement um, I decided to do lat pull downs today. A lot of times I'll do uh, weighted pull ups or I'll do the lat pull down. Usually never both, but I really prefer the weighted pull up, but it's a lot easier, uh, especially since there's three of us here to go ahead and just do a lat pull down so we can just switch and rotate. So we did four sets of that. Again, going our heaviest on the last set. Then uh, the next was another vert. So I like to switch between rows and verts as you see from the video. Um, and one of my favorite exercises right here. Um, to really bring up the lats is uh, dumbbell pullovers. Now the key with the pullover for the lats is you don't want to bring it too much past your eyes, past eye level, because then you're going to start contracting the chest. So you want to bring it up to about eye level and then just really get a good descent so you can really work those lats on the eccentric portion. All right, then we went ahead and we did some machines, some hammer strength machine rows. Really good for the upper back. What I did was pretty much, I put the seat low so that the upper back can be more focused. If you wanna focus more on the lower lats, then you can put the seat a little bit higher. And we went double hand here, so you can lift less weight, but I like the contraction. Then we went ahead right here, next exercise. I went ahead and did some uh, pullovers right here and supersetted those. So these are kind of close grip pullovers with an underhand. I really, really like this with the easy bar uh, attachment. And then I just supersetted that with some seated uh, cable rows. Really good exercise right here. Um, I always love cables because of the constant tension. And I like using them more towards the end of the workout because I feel like it's more of a burn here. My boy Ty right here. I'll go ahead and put a link to his Snapchat um, or his 
his Snapchat name below because uh, he's always on Snapchat motivating people, showing his meals, showing his journey. He wakes up in the morning every day to do cardio at like five in the morning. He's really on his grind and I always respect people like that, man. There's nothing more inspiring than waking up sometimes and trying to find that motivation and having people on my Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook who are putting in that work. And Ty's definitely one of those people. All right, and then you already know Nate always doing his thing right here. Uh, he went ahead and followed suit like the rest of us, as always. He's getting pretty lean, man. Y'all see Nate making that progress. All right, we see you, dog. <laughs> then right here, the last thing for back here is the high row. So pretty much what I did was I just got on the cable, did some high rows, and then superseted that with some pullovers, but wider. So the other bar was a little bit closer, and these are more of a wide grip. Just a different angle to get on those pullovers, which is a really good lat developer. So you see here, Tyrus is pulling it towards his upper chest. You don't want to pull it too low, because then you're engaging the, the more of the mid-back and sometimes a little more of the lower lats. You want to squeeze it up high so that way you can get that upper back and a little traps and then go ahead and superset all right Nate did the same thing I just didn't want to make the video dumb long then right here another superset to finish off um, did just some twisting dumbbell curls y'all see your boy getting lean if you follow me on Instagram I posted a picture yesterday uh, way in at uh, 214 and let me tell you it's, a, it's the best I've ever looked at 214 I'm looking pretty lean and I still have about 15 pounds left to go so went ahead and supersetted those curls with some trap um what a trap exercise uh some just some dumbbell shrugs real quick i kind of prefer those to the barbell because i like holding them to my sides each side works kind of individually and you can see my traps are not a weak point uh definitely something that just has grown on me it's one of those muscles that i don't have to work very hard for it to grow and then right here ty getting it in with the curls right here now he did a different variation he didn't really come up and curl and twist and that's cool too man there's so many different variations to exercises so y'all might be thinking oh he's doing it incorrectly no he's just doing a different way a different method man everyone trains differently and it's it's just all a matter and you know did you put in the work did you use a good weight and you can see right here he's really squeezing at the top on his trap exercise right here and really making sure he hits those traps man you can see his traps are pretty big too and then Nate right here Nate is on a mission he is on a mission to get those CT Flesher type arms, man. He's always in the gym working arms. Anytime I come in, it's like an off day or something. He's in there working arms, man. So he's going to get there one day. I know it. And the last thing we did here, haven't done these in a while, just some farmer's rocks. Really good for building up traps, really good for building up the forearms. And I kind of wanted to do some forearm work today. So I decided, you know what? I'm supposed to be doing traps and I wanted to throw in forearms. What exercise works both of those? Farmer's walks. I wanted to really challenge myself. So that's why on my last set I went really heavy, but something I haven't done in a while. But anyways, y'all, that's the workout. Stay tuned for the end. I'll introduce you to Ty a little bit, and then I got a little cheat meal to show you. All right, y'all, so we just got finished working out. My dog Nate right here. My dog Ty over there. Oh, yeah. Just finished uh, hitting up this, uh, what was it? Back bicep? Why do I never know the fucking workout? Back, it's pull day, basically. Back biceps. <laughs> back biceps. And, and, and uh, traps. traps. Farmers, all that shit. You watched the fucking video. But anyways, it's Nate's birthday, so we about to get him some. What are we gonna get him? Already, no. Let's find out. <laughs> Got them, them cookies. This is my only treat for my birthday. Fucking birthday cake, complete cookies. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what? You're dieting. <laughs> Keeping it dieting. somewhat healthy. <laughs> Why, why are you why are you complaining about me vlogging? I don't like my business out on the street. What business? What, what's on your plate? What's on your plate, Mom? What you eating? Ribs, fries, and bread. Yeah? Is it good? That's right, because I'm going to live only six months longer than somebody else. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so look, expl explain this one more time. Explain this one more time. What did, what, what did this study say? That... 
you can eat anything you want to, however you want to eat it, because you're only going to live six months longer than somebody that eat all the right food and watch everything they eat and that kind of stuff. So you're basically saying me counting and weighing my food is pointless because I'm only going to live six months longer. Correct. Uh, could I have a copy of the transcript to that? Yeah, can I see that study? Like, who was it by? What were the variables? To be honest. I'm not okay. revealing my thoughts. Most people don't die of natural causes here. Anyways, y'all, I'm enjoying a nice little cheat meal with my family. Don't forget the orders. Subscribe and share. Like and comment. Till next time, my devil dog. Oh, here's my here's my food. Keeping it somewhat healthy. <laughs> Dismissed. Man, just a little quick look at the progress, man. Coming along, leaning out a little bit, man. Looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? This little carb cycling I've been doing has been helping.